Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel Rigging in 3ds Max. In this chapter, we are going to see how to connect the IKFK switching with a controller. In the previous chapter, we have already created the IKFK system in uh, uh, after making a skinning joints and in this chapter we are going to learn how to connect with a controller and a custom attribute before starting with I am uh, strongly recommend you to see the introduction to reaction manager in our website because uh, I am going to use uh, reaction manager for this connection so let's start I have already uh, create the orientation constraint over here in the shoulder joint and the elbow joint you can see so now I'm going to create a custom attribute in this circle for creating a custom attribute go to animation menu parameter editor and the parameter editor first name it to fk and ik fk underscore ik fk underscore ik and I'll just uh, make the range from 0 to 10 and I'll say add add I'll see that fk and ik so first is fk and then is ik so the 0 will be stand for fk and the 10 will be stand for ik so for Creating that, we'll just uh, go to motion panel, selecting the joint, orientation constraint, and let's say first as I'll set the zero, and zero is for FK. Then I will set the shoulder dot shoulder underscore IK value weight value to zero, and the FK value to fifty, or we can use a hundred also. So animation reaction manager. I need to just check it out. It's I K is in zero, F K is in fifty for elbow. Okay. Now, first add master. Click object custom attribute F K I K. And then add slave. Select the skin joint. Transform rotation orientation constraint weight zero. Now again add slave click on the bone rotation orientation country constraint weight one. So here actually I have set when this custom value is set to zero, the weight zero is set to zero and the weight one is set to fifty. Now again I need to switch on the create mode and make this value to 10. Then select the shoulder, shoulder bone, change the IK value to 50 and FK value to 10 and click on create state then just switch off the create mode now we'll see select the circle make it into fk and you will see when i'm rotating the fk joint it is actually following the fk and if i change it to ik you will see it's actually following the IK system. See, only the shoulder joint. I haven't attached the uh, elbow joint still. So it's working perfectly. I'm repeating the same thing with the elbow joint. So first go to animation, reaction manager, and add master, select, circle, custom attribute, FK and IK. Or else, 
I can select it and create another state like okay no now I cannot create a set because uh, that uh, that was uh, the the slave that time was the only the shoulder I need to define a new slave which is uh, elbow so first add slave uh, sorry add master click object custom attribute fk and ik okay before that just just a minute before that just make sure it's in uh, zero so add master click object custom attribute fk ik and also add add slave select on the elbow underscore sk transform rotation orientation constraint zero and same thing again add slave transform rotation orientation constraint one now again i will make the ikfk switch value to 10 and oops sorry before making it uh, 10 I need to switch on the create mode and then make it 10 and then move to the joint in the motion panel just switch the stuff that means IK should be 50 and the FK should be 0 and then say create state and please switch off the create mode now we'll see right now the ikfk switch is on ik so if i rotate the see so fk is actually following it you see it's an FK and it's completely following the switch but if I click on the IK and I move you see there's not a single movement because it's the switch is in FK then again I just put it in FK sorry IK and if I move the IK chain, you'll see it's following the IK. And there is not a single movement in FK. Is it? It's actually it's actually getting something. Oh I I've just made a mistake. I have uh I haven't actually, you know, uh set the weight value to zero while I made that set value as uh, so the weight value into 10 so what can we do over here or uh, we can uh, I think we need to go to the reaction manager okay now you'll we'll see where is the value okay now see this this is very important this is very very interesting I have mistake I have made a mistake now you'll we'll see uh, see the value over here it's it's in 10 see you can change it to 0 you can change it to 0 now you see it's pretty much straight if you hit the IK and move the IK did I mistake again I think it, this this one only will be okay. Fine. At the time of zero, just. Uh, Check the orientation value. Zero, IK zero, FK is fine. Fine. 
but the time of 10 just need to check check these values it's still on FK oh oh sorry sorry it's still on FK uh, I need to change the values it's it's in IK so it should be the the value should be in FK so that's 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 the thing you need to you know reaction manager and it should be opposite it should be opposite so what we'll do just uh no step five four six I am making some mistakes definitely okay the zero is fifty zero okay I made this mistake this is a big mistake you know this should be zero and the IK should be 50 okay now what is actually happened uh, I hope this time it is yes absolutely fine what is actually happened I, I accidentally you know uh, see the state states are uh, very important because you know state one that means the value is zero now state one means this value see and in the last stage when i state value in the state six i have put the value of the ikfk switching into 10 and the weight zero means is the first weight first weight means if you go to the orientation constraint this one is the first weight that means it's ik so ik value should be 50 and the FK value should be zero because as my state is 10, that means I am in IK mode, not in the FK mode. FK is zero, IK is 10. I told you before when I when I make the make the name, I I made it FK underscore IK. FK means zero, IK means 10. So that is the that is the most important thing. That's why I made the mistake. But you can you can anytime it's a it's a non-destructive. You can you can change that uh, anytime if I made any kind of mistake. Just you have to. Uh, uh, look at it uh, if you can't uh, then uh, no matter just delete it and you can uh, uh, get another another uh, no state straight away that's not a big big problem but yes definitely if you have facing if you are facing something some some problem regarding this you can definitely make this uh, uh, you know uh, uh, no change uh, from here it's very easy it's very very easy so that is the thing we can now see it's an FK while it's in FK, I can change the movements in FK, and if I make it to 10, it's become oh shit! What happened? The system just hanged. Oh shit! What happened? Okay, now now when it's 10, you can <coughs> you have you see that uh, it's in absolutely in uh, FK and if I move it you'll see you can have that the IKFK switching like this so this is it hope you enjoy the uh, tutorial thank you very much